Hi friends. So in this video, we are gonna see a concept of logarithm of complex number. Now we have seen how to find logarithm of real number, but we don't know how to find the logarithm of complex number. So as we have learned about complex number in previous topics, today we are gonna see how exactly we can find out the logarithm of complex number. So to understand this concept, I am assuming one complex number z equal to x plus i y. Now here I am representing the number in Cartesian form and the polar form of this number is r into cos theta plus i sin theta as we all know and the exponential form is r into e raised to i theta. Now to find out the logarithm, I will take log on both sides. So left hand side will become log of z equal to, now on right hand side, I have three forms of complex number, where one is Cartesian, other is polar and the third one is exponential. And to find out the log, we will use the exponential form of complex number. So log of z is nothing but log of x plus i y and to find the log i will basically use the form r e raised to i theta because the exponential form can work with logarithm and we can get the formula very easily so here this r and e are multiplying each other so here i will be using a formula of logarithm that is log a into b so this will become log of r plus log of e raised to i theta. Now log of r will remain as it is whereas this log and e will be cancelled since the base of this log is e and we will get i theta over here. So it means the formula for log of x plus i y is equal to log of r plus i theta but now here we also have to find out the value of r and theta so we have seen in the complex number that r is nothing but modulus and it is represented by the formula root of x square plus y square similarly this theta is called as amplitude which is represented by the formula tan inverse of y by x. So here at r I will substitute this value root of x square plus y square and at theta I will substitute the value tan inverse of y by x and hence I will get the formula for log of x plus i y as log of root of x square plus y square plus i tan inverse of y by x. Now here we can also take this power or I will say this root outside the log. So this root is nothing but raised to half. So x square plus y square raised to half and i tan inverse y by x as it is. So after taking this half here, so this will become half log of x square plus y square plus i tan inverse of y by x. So basically here I am using the formula log of a raised to b and this will become b log a and hence I am taking this half here ahead of this log. So these are two formulas which we can use to find out the log of complex number. Now as we have seen how to find out the log of complex number this we call it as principal value of logarithm. Now if we want to find out the general value of log x plus i y then it is basically denoted by capital L. Now this value that is log of x plus i y is called as principal value of log of x plus i y. But if I want to find out the general value of the log of x plus i y then basically it is denoted by capital L. So this will become log 
of x plus i y you can see here that I am representing L by capital L and to get the general value we all know that we have to add 2 n pi in theta. So, the general value will be half log x square plus y square and in theta I will add 2 n pi. So, that will become i into 2 n pi plus tan inverse of y by x and this is nothing but the formula to find out the general value of logarithm. Now, these two formulas will be useful to find out the value of some numericals. So, let us see the first numerical. So, here we have to show that log of minus log i is equal to log pi by 2 minus i pi by 2. Now, you can see the term inside the bracket is the logarithm of a complex number. So, let us start with that. So, log of i. So, here log of i if I will compare it with x plus i y then that will become log of 0 plus i and here I can say that x is 0 and y is equal to 1. Now, if we will use the formula of logarithm then log of i is given by 1 by 2 log of x square plus y square. So, 0 square plus 1 square plus i tan inverse of y by x. So, y is 1 and x is 0. So, hence we will get 1 by 2 as it is log of 1 is 0 plus i here we will get tan inverse of infinity and we will get the value for log of i equal to i pi by 2 because tan inverse of infinity is pi by 2 and this term is 0. Now, we will use this value in the LHS. So, therefore, this log of minus log i will become log of minus i pi by 2. Now, here once again we have to find out the log of complex number. So, this will become 1 by 2 log of x square that is 0 square plus y square here y is minus pi by 2. So, minus pi by 2 the whole square plus i tan inverse of y by x. So, minus pi by 2 by 0. Now, if we will find this then we will get half square of pi by 2 is pi square by 4. So, here we will get log of pi square by 4 and i now we all know that anything upon 0 is infinity. Now, since numerator is negative we will get tan inverse of negative infinity in the bracket. Now, this half we can take it in the power and that will become the root and hence we will get log of root of this pi square by 4 which is nothing but pi by 2 and this tan inverse of minus infinity is nothing but minus tan inverse of infinity and here we can substitute the answer for tan inverse of infinity as pi by 2. So, we will get the final value as log of pi by 2 minus i pi by 2 and this is the value of log minus log i which is being asked. Thank you.